Hello friends and welcome back to Venice Sports Shack and welcome back to another episode of Card Shop Chronicles. There's a few things that I want to talk about today. Hopefully it don't go too long and uh, I want to talk about where I'm playing for Friday. The cards I got coming in contest and I got a little quick story for you. So as always, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, stand up. Stretch out, because away we go. Okay, I wrote them down because I forget a lot of stuff because I'm old. But I want to start doing something on Friday that maybe was helpful. I kind of want to help think what I think. So uh, I'm going to start Fridays. So I'm going to start talking about the six principles of real estate and how I think they apply to cards. Uh, there's the principle of anticipation, the principle of demand, supply, supply and demand, but not only with supply and demand, you have desire, you know, the desirability. Uh, you have principles of substitution that affects real estate, um, but also affects cards with the grading. Uh, the principle of balance, that's, uh, Basically, every dollar you put in, you want to get a dollar back. So if you put in $2, you want to get $4 back. Principles of progression uh, and principles of regression. That's really one and the same. Principles of progression. You got a card that sold for $10 million to 52 Mickey Mantle. Uh, market value, there is no card worth more. If it's $10 million, that's it. The PSA 10, the lowest sold for six million. There's not one cheaper. That's the principle of regression principle. So kind of get into that stuff. If that sounds good, comment down below. Tell me if you want me to tell you about cards and how real estate market is a lot the same. Uh, after that, I can get into theories of contribution, uh, things of that. I mean, just I could go on for months on a Friday if I just did it on Fridays, but thinking about it tell me what you think if you want to hear some boring stuff i can get boring another thing i want to talk about slabs for the next few days i have 165 175 i'm going tomorrow morning to portage to pick up slabs i have vintage i have new i have football i think so far i have uh out of the 175 maybe 100 tomorrow but a lot of neat old stuff a lot of tens on some new stuff old stuff two three fours five six but it's from the 60s and 70s so that'll be coming up also i want to remind everybody about the contest my sister said i should have did a better job put it in an envelope or something but you guys are going to just have to trust me i haven't touched that number and when I pull it down, I'll explain to you why I came to that number. And you guys will agree, hey, he's a mess with the number. But next time, I'll put an envelope, put kind of X on it or something. Make it a little, you know, less suspect. But don't forget, we're almost there. Uh, we're not almost there. we got over 700 subscribers. we get to 1,000. I'll pull that down and show the number. And I'm going to send the pack of... 1980 cards to whoever wins and then when uh, we cross a thousand when we hit 2000 I've already been thinking I've got a little set 1978 Yankees team set Burger King put this out so let's get past a thousand tell all your buddies thousand one to a thousand pick a number that'll be for that and if you like the idea about the next thing okay then finally i love to tell you guys a story on wednesday this uh i picked this place because it has a lot of history in the 70s a gentleman bought this building and turned it into a record shop and a head shop for those of you that don't know what a head shop is google it and uh, from 74 till probably 10, 15 years ago, paraphernalia, records, just whatever, ran out of here. So uh, he finally retired, closed down, and uh, I still have some 
the characters come in here, uh, to say the least. So, I'm in here the other day, and this dirty hippie, I mean dirty, if, uh, you don't know what I mean by dirty hippie, watch semi-pro, you'll know what I'm talking about. Comes in, looks around the shoes, and, and clothes, and not really messing with nothing, the cards, and he comes up to me, and he goes, hey, I know this might be, what's the word he used? I know this might be a long shot, but because I come in here 10 years ago and they used to sell fake pee, he goes, would you happen to still have any? I said, well, sir, I said, does it look like the same store that it was when you were in here last time? He goes, well, no. I said, well, the no. So that's kind of a dumb question. He looks at me and he goes, well, I did say it was a long shot. <laughs> and I said, touche, sir. And I figured he won, you know, he, he, he got me. So then he goes, do you know where I can get me any? And I looked at him and I said, just leave. <laughs> no, I, d I don't know where you could get fake pee. Or clean pee. I know you get clean pee. I go to pee for you. But I ain't doing that, buddy. We ain't that good of friends. So that was kind of funny. I got a kick out of it. So I wanted to share that with you. You should see some of the people that come in here. It's hilarious. I tell you guys. I, it's not about the cards. It's just the shoes. It's, it's the dirty hippies, too. I love them. It's fun. So comment down below. Tell me what you think. But the next contest, I know I'm excited. Give shit away. So comment about that. Uh, do the number. When we hit a thousand, I will uh, pull that down. Show you guys who won. Tell me what you think about Fridays. If you want to do some boring stuff, I mean, it, it's just second nature to me. But uh, let me know. So as always, peace. Have a super great day. And yes. Keep dancing.